In regards to ICL surgery and its safety, uh, it's an extremely safe procedure. It's been implanted in three to 400,000 patients worldwide. So it's an excellent safety profile, but uh, given that it's a surgical procedure, there are still risks attached to it. And so the main risk with ICL surgery is the risk of developing cataract. Typically, we quote, there's a 2% chance of that happening in the patient's lifetime. Now, if the ICL implant is inserted later on in life, say after the age of 40, that risk uh, is higher. In terms of other risks that can develop, there is a three to 5% chance of other things uh, that may need intervention that are not necessarily site threatening. So for example, the ICL may need to be changed. There may be a period of prolonged inflammation after the surgery and a leaky wound that may need a stitch in, so this sort of thing. But overall, the safety profile is excellent. So with regards to the recovery uh, following the procedure, that's pretty quick. So as soon as you've had the operation done, uh, most patients see reasonably well. And as the patient's pupil comes down, uh, which it does over the next day or so, the sharpness uh, really picks up. So you're looking at a day or two of the vision picking up dramatically. And in terms of recovery from the procedure, in terms of uh, the inflammation you get afterwards, a few weeks. So patients are on drops typically four times a day for two weeks, then twice a day for two weeks. And those drops prevent inflammation and infection developing. In terms of returning back to work, most patients are able to work within a few days of the operation. We do advise to take a week off just to allow things to settle and get, on, you know, get over the, the surgery side of things. But yeah, typically if you did want to, you could go back to work after a few days.